Hello everyone, Domo here and today I won't be wasting any of your time so let's just get it going. In this video I'll be showing you the top 10 things Bucket will probably never add in the Battle Bricks. Starting off with number 10 is third forms. It's basically the same thing as alt forms but they have three forms instead of two which of course you know about it and well bucket also said this in the suggestion channel before it was completely remade so i remember that being in the channel notes thingy if you know that The top 9 is consumables. You know those RPG games like Dungeon Quest or Wonderland has those potions where they buff you mid-game? Well that's this user's suggested to Bucket for reducing cooldown units. And well yeah he said no, which kinda sucks. I was hoping for it to be in the game but well that's not, well that's confirmed that Bucket won't be adding that so yeah kinda suck. Top 8 is modifiers. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean by modifiers, but if you don't, I'll just explain it anyway. Uh, let's take Tower Blitz for example. They have a lot of options to pick from, ranging from easy and to extreme difficult where almost basically it's impossible. And well, Bucket said this in the suggestion stage suggestion, which is now deleted. Well, technically it's not really going to be in the game, but you know what I mean, what I'm, what the image means, and yeah, I wanted a challenge, a real challenge, but not, it's not gonna happen, uh, I'm sad honestly. Now the top 7 is new base upgrades. Now, I know what you're thinking, Damori, what the does this mean? Well, to be, to be brutally honest, I don't know. Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking, calm down. Max said this in my Discord server, which <coughs> uh, joined by the way, uh, links will be in the description. He means by suggesting a new way to upgrade the base instead of, well, those in the shop th yeah i think you, you, you know what i mean but since we're not getting that we won't be having that in game so yeah sucks to suck top six will be zoom in and out i don't think i'll need to explain this but whatever it's gonna be short anyways uh, you'll be able to zoom in and out mid game, which I remember Bucket saying it's not possible or it's basically impossible, so yeah. Now to top 5, pausing. Again, with the same reason, but basically impossible to add because um, I'm not sure if you can even pause in Roblox uh, and we'll make everything frozen in place. In game, by the way, like. When you start it and you need to go, I don't know, somewhere to eat or, well, get your, uh, get water to drink and you want to pause the game when you basically you don't want to surrender. Yeah, you know what I mean, but it's impossible to get that, to do that, or well, scripting. Top 4 will be increasing and decreasing in-game speed. Again, Bucket said this is impossible to add, which, oh yeah, I just remembered, I have to say this. From bu from what I remember, Bucket did say he would add this, or well, any of the things I said, if it's possible on Roblox, but I believe it's possible, but it might be a bit complex code, I guess. So, yeah, we might see this feature coming into the Battle Bricks, but who knows. Top 3 will be multiplayer. Yes, I know it's pretty upsetting to hear this, but 
it does make sense if the game did add multiplayer bucket would have to balance all battlers which it are like what 50 plus battlers now anyway yeah I'm not even sure how bucket will be able to do it even if he adds multiplayer honestly top two will be skins now I yes yes okay I have no idea why you want this in a single player game unless you like to flex <coughs> I'm looking at you the beach L guy and anyway a skin that no one could get and oh yeah you could technically could say that battler's alt is the first skin so fair enough I guess top one will be PvP again with multiplayer this idea would be such a great idea but Sally will come to in game same thing as multiplayer of course where bucket would need to balance the battlers to make it fair if it ever actually did I get added to the game I would love to host a PvP tournament tournament with any skilled players that are really good to the game and that's the end of the video I'm surprised you actually watched everything to the end of the video but yeah if again I'm, a, I'm saying this again if any of these lists are eventually added to the game well that's pretty cool I guess so yeah that's all